Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Forgotten Camel, and welcome to Ultimate Epic Bow Simulator. Now, before we begin, I really had to apologize, and especially if I... I don't know, I may have made a promise that I would upload more videos, but I actually kind of haven't recently. And as some of you already know, it's because I'm uh, busy with school and everything. And I haven't been able to upload videos for weeks already. Surprisingly enough, I'm still getting subscribers, so for for the new guys showing up, thank you. I really appreciate your support. It's, you know, it's nice to know that people are interested in watching my videos. And, you know, well, if people are really that interested, I'm... It, it kind of encourages me to go ahead and make more videos, because uh, school... Of course, has been hectic. I got. I've been trying to finish my calculus. Just uh, did a chemistry test. We've gone through three chemistry tests already. It's really tiring me out. But you know, we're probably five eighths of the way there until the semester's over, and then I can finally uh, get to doing what I want to do. And, well, actually, I am sort of doing what I I want to do. It's just that I've really had the lack of interest in making videos lately. But now, I'm actually uploading a video. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the video. Okay. There's something weird here. Something very, 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 very weird. It's, um, I'm pretty sure it, you guys know what it is. This person isn't a train. So, this per, this elf person is very out of place. You know, this, this land is owned by train people and elves do not exist in here. It's very, very unrealistic. But this train right here is very realistic. It's a very, very realistic thing. So, this train has to... Get rid of this elf that is endangering the realisticness of this game. So, can Tommy the tank engine destroy this monstrosity? Let's find out. Oh, wow. That arrow didn't even hit him. So, of course, Tommy. Oh, wow. I just saw that arrow just. <laughs> Did you see that? Look, the arrow! Ah, oh, it disappeared, but the arrow literally came down. She shot it all the way up into the air. It was up there for like several seconds, probably like 20 or so, and it lands. I don't know, I just found I just find that amusing. Of course, Tommy the Tank Engine eliminates the monstrosity. But wait! Thousands of these monstrous creatures are way below on that cliff there. My words got stuck. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Tommy the Dank Engine can survive. However, there's an army of kitties ready to come to his rescue. Tom, Todd, Tadri, Tadri, Gadri, Nadri, Badri, Gadri. Oh wait, I already said Gadri. Excuse me. Sentry, Dentry, Dudri, Dodri, Bantri, Gadri. Two hours later. Tadri, Wadri. Uh, th those are real names. And, and, and not all of his names, obviously. His glowing brew brothers at the hundreds will try to come to his rescue, but I really don't think that uh, Tommy the Todd Engine will survive because these guys have arrows and arrows trump all especially when there are 4,000 of these guys I may have overdone it Ugh. but it's never fair when you have these monstrosities and Tommy oof Ooh, poor Tommy he's been shot by hundreds of it arrows and looks like he's trying to get shot again no wait he's going to commit suicide 
Oh! Oh, that's frightening! Oh, that's so brave! He's just running to his death right down there! So many arrows hitting him! I feel so sorry for Tommy. That's like thousands of arrows hitting this guy. It's, 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 it's legit not fair. Like, he's literally flying. How can he fly? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, just the physics in this game. Well, maybe he can take out that guy over there, or, or not. He can just keep getting shot. How much health does he have? Oh my goodness. That's thousands of arrows hitting him every minute. And he's still alive. Oh, that's amazing. How are you still alive, sir? You are... You... I, I kind of want to go focus on the kitties, but I also want to see when this guy dies, because he has a ton of health. Oh, he's just taking so much damage. It's... It's not even fair. Oh, and now his brothers came to save his life now. Oh, no. It's the end for them, I guess. Holy cow! Have they been ignoring these cats? This is amazing. The kitties are come to save the day. I think Tommy might actually survive this. Uh, let's see. I actually don't see any bodies. Surprisingly, these guys get flown around everywhere before they can even hit the enemy, which I find to be rather confusing. But so far, no, none of his brothers, like Godri, Dodri, Madri, Tadri, none of them had died. But, over here, there are a lot of kitties dying, I think, probably. I, I'm not too sure. It looks... They kind of seem like they're invincible. Like, it's like... It's like the arrows are made of marshmallows, and the only reason they're being pulled back is because they're pulling back to eat the marshmallows. I mean, those are really delicious marshmallow arrows, you know. Costs like a dollar per arrow. Wow, this it's like a food fight going on over here. And I find it amazing that these cats are able to <laughs> just defeat... Just, they're just overwhelming these guys, and there's just so many arrows hitting them. And there are even some cats inside just fighting these guys. Are these cats... That, that's... They're just wandering right inside enemy lines. I really like that. And the cats are still fighting these guys. I feel... I, it just... These guys are still struggling against these archers here. It's kind of sad. Like, they have a hell of a attack damage. It's just that they can't reach them. Well, I guess that's what happens when your entire head is a train. And this guy's just standing around doing nothing. Apparently, he's tired. He wants to take a nap. Oh wait, now he's moving now. He's not tired anymore. In fact, he's going to attack these archers and kill one of them. Oof. He could have killed the other, but... Uh, oh, another one almost got her, but... Oh, oh my goodness. That woman is killing people from behind, or hitting people from behind. And of course, over here, the archers are still shooting at the cats, who are very much enjoying those marshmallow arrows. Mmm, aren't they delicious? Oh wait! Oh man, some of them have died from an overdose! They've died from eating too many marshmallows! Uh, the, the, let that be a lesson to you folks. Don't eat too much marshmallows. You can only eat a thousand. Only a thousand a day. You eat more than a thousand and you die. That's basically the rules of life. Of course. I'm actually surprised that these archers are losing, I must say. But it's a pleasant surprise nonetheless. It's, it's kind of fun to see a bunch of cats defeat a bunch of elves. I'm starting to think that these elves are a one gender race at this point because I can't... At the, I have not seen any male elves as of yet. 
and the train men are currently attempting to attack these archers, but they keep getting flown back. Not a single one of them seems to have died, though. So that's good news! Which means there's a very likelihood that Tommy has survived. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun? Are you having fun killing archers? I'm sure you are. But I, I'm pretty sure the cats are having a lot more fun too. Because you guys are clearly unbalanced every time you get hit. Of course over here, this is the thickest part of the army. Surprisingly, if it's uh, is that a cat in there? That's pretty amazing. So uh, surprisingly, not too many archers are actually dead, but you know that's probably a thousand or so. And pretty soon, these guys will actually manage to hit someone. I hope. Which. <laughs> It's actually already dark. This is going on longer than I thought. I thought it would be pretty short considering the archers are just so off, but it's, it's pleasant to see that archers are getting what's theirs. So archers are incredibly unfair. So I'd say this... Maybe it's even, maybe it's not. I haven't seen a single train person die. But I, you know, they're kind of... They're kind of silly. Being flown back by an arrow. By a marshmallow arrow, that is. But the good news is they have bigger stomachs, so they don't won't die from an overdose. Uh, it'll probably take about 30,000 marshmallows. So over here, of course, the cats are still pushing the archers back. Some of them are uh, dying from an overdose, the poor cats. I mean, there's only so much you can eat. You need to stop eating so much. Oh wow, they're really starting to surround these elves. The poor elves are, you know, they're actually surrounded, sort of. Like, they could retreat. The, the flank over here is extremely weak. One of the cats is actually running around in circles. See that? They keep running over there for some odd reason, and then coming back. It's like they're trying to chase the arrows. Like, if you eat too many of those arrows, you will die. I'm just saying. So right over here, the blue guys are actually pushing a little bit farther, despite the fact that they keep getting pushed back every time they get hit. It's, it, it, but, you know, they make a good distraction. The cats are actually taking out quite a few of these archers here. And the archers are really getting desperate right now. I mean, I would be too when I'm an invader and, uh... I want to make... I want to... Normalize. I mean, what are these people? It's just... Not natural... Elves are not natural. It's wrong. You see these trains? These trains are natural. These walking cats are natural. But these elves? These elves are not natural. Therefore, they must be eliminated. Of course, this group of elves is getting quite surrounded. They're actually pretty much split off from this group over here, this main group. Uh, they're they're uh, still holding their own, but their lines are just getting thinner and thinner, and there's just so many cats just so hungry right now for marshmallows. I mean, you could say that these cats died satisfi satisfied. Or maybe they didn't die satisfied as well. Maybe they still wanted marshmallows when they died. I mean, those marshmallows certainly are delicious. Hmm. At least the elves brought something good to the table, and that was marshmallow arrows. It's too bad that you can die to eating too much of it.
I'm gonna look over here, the elves, this little, uh, company over here, is almost completely eliminated. But most of them are aiming at the trains. Which is nice. It means less of the cats, you know, get to be selfish and, you know, eat all of the marshmallows. I don't know why I have such an obsession with marshmallows, but I do. Like, I feel like starting a fire, grabbing a stick and putting marshmallows in them. Maybe has some s'mores. Oh, would you look at that? Cats can fly! Actually, technically this is, like, time going at point zero seconds, but it definitely looks like this cat can fly. He's looking at the sky. He's aiming for the sky. Actually, it looks like he's aiming for that tree. I think he wants to be an owl. Do you want to be an owl, Mr. Cat? That's fine. I think. Just so long as you don't... I don't know, think you're an owl. You can want to be an owl, but just be sure not to think you're an owl. I, I, I think I'll stop now. So I have a feeling that these guys might be losing now. The archers, that is. In fact, this group over here is completely surrounded. They can't get anywhere. I mean, they're taking punch shots at these train people, but, you know, they have very thick skin and very big stomachs. They, they can eat as much arrows as they like. So this group is almost dead, just to give it a few more seconds. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll be dead soon. Are, are you ready to die? Yes, two of them just died just now. Just a few of them left, and they'll eventually have won this small battle over here. Over here, though, they're not completely surrounded, but it kind of looks like a triangle over here. Yes, it's a pretty interesting formation, I must say. This is, uh... It's kind of cool. Of course, over here, they've already cleared out the archers there, and now everyone's just dancing. They're celebrating their victory while eating marshmallows. And I'd say that this... I mean, this is, you know, there's still a lot of these cats. I know I gave them only 3,000 or 4,000 cats, but this looks like a lot more than 3,000 or 4,000 cats. There's quite a few cats, and one of those guy train people is fooling around back there. Looks like he's uh, dancing. Yes, he's playing catch the marshmallow from far. The poor guy, he's so lonely. You know, his friends don't really, his brothers don't really like him. His name's uh, Thornberry. It's rather normal, and, uh, people don't really like normal here. Poor Thornberry. Yes, I see this, uh, this battle. It's still going on. That's it, that's that that's all I'm commenting, it's just still going on. I mean obviously they would lose. I mean these archers brought marshmallow arrows. Kinda hard to win a war when you bring marshmallow arrows as your ammunition. Might have been better had they brought blueberry arrows. Uh, because people would be more likely to die from that because they'd be more likely to go after their those blueberry arrows to eat them I have blueberries
Yes, well, at this point, I'm just going to say this is... I mean, we kind of already knew it after about a few minutes ago, but this is definitely a win for the train people and the cats and for Tommy the Dank Engine. Uh, he's alive in there somewhere. He's just, you know, enjoying those marshmallows. I mean, he... he He's being quite selfish. He already had thousands of marshmallows earlier, and now he is coming in for more. Should save some for his friends. Yes. But, uh, of course, that's all for today. I must say, um, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I do appreciate you supporting my videos. And for those of you new and not subscribed, if you like the video, please like and subscribe for more. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And good day.